The wait is almost over and the countdown is at five days. Welcome to Wingstop Inside High School Sports. I'm your host, David Watkins. The season is upon us and there are plenty of storylines. We'll have a show without Kyler Murray for the first time in three years. There's new head coaches at power programs across DFW and the state championships move from Jerry World to Houston. But let's kick things off by previewing the large classifications, which should be wide open. There are favorites, but it's anyone's for the taking as we go around the Metroplex. Starting in 6A, most feel the Division I state championship is wide open now that Kyler Murray has finally moved on from Allen. But you don't win 43 straight games on the back of just one player. The Eagles bring back 10 starters on defense from last year's title game and still have solid depth at the skilled positions. However, replacing the dynamic Murray won't be easy and it may open the door for other contenders to get a shot at the ring. DeSoto will be Allen's biggest threat. Todd Peterman will be taking over as head coach and the former Eagle offensive coordinator will center his offense around quarterback Tristan Wallace. The senior only played in four games last year due to an injury, so the Eagles offense should flourish. Peterman says it's special teams where he hopes DeSoto will make its biggest improvement. Our number one thing is, is we put more emphasis on special teams. You know, we, we hired a special teams coordinator. We actually hired a kicking coach. You know, um, so both of those are first for us. Since I, you know, this is my finished eight years here, so through year eight we haven't had that. So I'm um, really hoping we make great improvements in those areas. Another Division One contender is the Trinity Trojans. They too are replacing a head coach as Steve Lineweaver retired and offensive coordinator Chris Jensen takes over the team. The Trojans only return three starters on offense, but they are at key positions. You know, we do have three returning starters, but. Two of the one's the quarterback and one's the tailback, and in our offense, that's huge. And uh, J. Ron has had the best spring, probably, that I've seen any back have here. Um, he's he's done real well. He's he's had two years of experience. Uh, he knows the what to do, what not to do, and then you throw in his his talent on top of that. So uh, he's got a chance to be very special. The Longhorns should not skip a beat in Division Two as Joey McGuire's bunch is loaded again. Stephenville transfer Keegan Williams takes over at running back and McGuire will replace Demarcus Lodge with junior Cameron Buckley and Woodrow Wilson transfer Charleston Rambo. But all eyes will be on junior quarterback Avery Davis who burst on the scene in last year's title game. You know, the cool thing about Avery, he's a really intelligent kid that has some confidence. You know, he's not overconfident or cocky, but he's he's kind of got that, you know, just quiet confidence about him. and. And uh, what's crazy, I've never seen uh, a game being too big for him. I mean, you know, that's a state game. He's a sophomore and, you know, played all year on JV and started playing in the playoffs. And then all of a sudden, he's put in that position and, you know, the game just slowed down. He did an incredible job. Other 6A teams that should make some noise are Denton Geyer, Skyline, and South Lake Carroll. Geyer features possibly the nation's best junior quarterback in Sean Robinson, who verbally committed to TCU over the summer. Skyline has a new head coach in Derek Roberson, but they also bring back their big play running back, Dalyon Ward, who should help the Raiders go deep in the postseason. And the Carroll Dragons have enough returning offensive talent to contend. They are highlighted by six foot five athlete Lil Jordan Humphrey, who may move from running back to wide receiver this year. Looking for some 6A sleepers? Look no further than Arlington Lamar. The Vikings have Texas commit Shane Bouchel behind center, and he'll be throwing to his top target, Kofi Botang, for the third straight year. First-year head coach Laban DeLay will be looking for senior leadership out of Bouchel and others. The thing that I'm trying to bring to the table is high energy. We're going to do everything fast. We, we want to go fast offensively, defensively, and, and be the strongest team on, on the football field every Thursday and Friday night. Looking ahead to 5A, don't expect Toledo to fall off despite graduating a lot of their offense. The Bearcats have won state titles in five of the last six years and have dominated the regular season as they have a 54-game district winning streak intact. And his head coach, Jack Alvarez, has put the Lions back on the map. After winning a title last year, look for running back Trey Elliott to lead Ennis to a possible repeat this year. Lancaster seems to have a roster full of athletes, and that is the case again this year. Highly recruited Tyrell Alexander can do a little bit of everything on offense and should make the Tigers a favorite in 14-5A. 
Mansfield Timberview is a title contender too, behind senior quarterback Devin Williams. Dark horses in 5A include Mansfield, Lake Ridge, and The Colony. Lake Ridge is only in its fourth varsity season, but quarterback and Texas Tech commit Jet Duffy has turned the Eagles into a major threat. Lake Ridge also touts running back Duke Carter and will definitely be heard from in 2015. The Colony is fresh off its best playoff run ever, and they return an experienced squad led by running back Khalil Banks.